Hello everyone, Jake here. Today we're going to be making some pin blanks. Uh, some are going to be made with a pressure pot and some are going to be made without a pressure pot. We're going to do this by using Illumilite Clear Slow for the ones that are going in the pressure pot and we're going to use liquid diamonds for the ones that are going to be left out and not be put in a pressure pot. Uh, this is in competition between resins, this is giving you another way to do things. And some of these are going to be uh, hybrid blanks and then obviously these ones in the middle are just going to be resin only. I'm going to make a lot of blanks here and there's a reason for it because I'm doing a weekly giveaway on Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there after the video go ahead and go to the links below and go follow me on Instagram and, and try to get you some free pin blanks. But anyway, I have the oven going. I'm going to put these in the oven, put the pin blank, the molds in the oven. I always like to get them up to temperature. Uh, I leave them about 150 degrees for uh, 20 minutes or so. We're going to do the, this one first since it's the fastest. One thing you need to know about hybrid blanks is all of this is stabilized wood. And I'll have videos below on stabilizing and, and other things that pertain to this, pressure pots, all that kind of stuff. Um, stabilized wood because resins don't like moisture. If it's not stabilized, you're going to run into problems. And um, that's another reason why I put these in the oven is to get the surface moisture out. These are stabilized, but I've had trouble out of wood that I've stabilized before if I just let it set out and then try to cast on it it gets cloudy because it just it has surface moisture in it and we don't like that so these are going to go into the oven i'm going to pick out some colors for this stuff and when i come back we'll be ready to pour okay the molds are out of the oven a couple of these are a little bit loose but i have some extra um hdpe when i put them in there i'll just set that on there and it'll hold it down you want to try to cut it to where it fits in there better but i have what i have the colors for the Illumilite pours are going to be uh, blood red, lime green, gold, and silver. And kind of sounds like it don't go together, but we'll see what happens. I usually get some rice and I'll pour rice into my molds and then pour it back into a cup like this. And you can kind of see, uh, it'll get you close. I found that that's close and you need to make a little bit more than that. I'm gonna purposefully make a little bit extra because I want to do something cool for me. There's another mold sitting in another pressure pot. Whatever I have left, I'm gonna dump it all together and just do a, a pour. So I, I'm gonna make too much. I'm not gonna try too hard to figure all this stuff out. And we're gonna get ready to go. Illumilite has 12 minutes of working time. I did a swirling video. I'll put a link to that below and a card up there. You gotta pour it at a certain degrees and this point, I'm gonna I have a lot to pour. So I'm gonna start at 95 degrees and then it's gonna get hotter as I pour it. So, but you wanna, start at 95 degrees because that's when it really starts to separate and safety glasses and gloves okay alumilite is one to one by weight not volume if you do it by volume you're going to be horribly wrong like the other one we're going to go by volume we're not going to need scales or anything but this we're going to scale it out and I kind of want, I kind of have a number in my head. I want f around 40 ounces and that's not a big deal. It's just an arbitrary number I'm making because um, it's easy to add. <laughs> so I'm going to put about 20 ounces in there of one part, weigh it, and then do that same amount of weight on the other part. So here we go. 705 ounces, 705.4. So I'll tear this, set it back to zero, and go 705 again. I always, I use, if I can mix with a silicone spatula, I'm gonna, it gets up against the sides easy, and it's just nicer to use than a stick. So I'll start stirring this. I was looking for my timer, it's in my pocket. <laughs> so. 12 minutes and I have my temperature gun right here. And with this stuff, I really don't care if I introduce bubbles. I'm gonna, I wanna get it mixed and I wanna get these cups. I want to get these colors mixed good. So we're gonna put in a pressure pot so I'm not that concerned with bubbles. 
Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix this as fast as I can. Once again, mix the side, like scrape the sides. That's why I like the silicone uh, spatulas because I know I can feel it scraping every little bit of this, and therefore I'm eliminating mistakes. It's already almost yeah, 78 degrees, and we're at this is a, a, a kind of a bigger volume, so it's going to heat up faster. We're at three minutes and it's already 78 degrees. The temperature in the shop is about 63, so it's already gaining some temperature. Whoops. I got a resin shirt now. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Now these mica powders, we're making pin blanks so we don't want them see through, so I'm gonna give a pretty a generous couple of scoops of this in there and then when we mix it we'll kind of talk about how you know when when they're it's uh, you have enough in there and you can't see through it whoa mess that up a little bit I like some blood red it's an awesome color and these ones I'm using on the Illumilite are all caster's choice I can already feel this stuff getting getting warm, so I have to stop messing around here. This is the this is the trade-off. I like how fast this is, but the trade-off is you you're uh, you're uh, scrambling at times to get everything done, which is kind of the fun part. But it get you it'll get you keep you on your toes. There's other ways to do this. Some people will mix the mica powders in one side of it. They'll weigh out the sides, side A, side B, and put mica powder in one side or the other, and then and have that mixed up and then mix it. And they're not wrong. I just, I just do it like this. 84 degrees. Try to get this mixed up the best I can. I'll make sure my overhead shot is good for the pour. And that's the thing about, <laughs> you're trying to film this too. It, it makes it extra difficult, but totally worth it. That green is awesome. So you, you can uh, lift the stick out and if you can see through the through the resin and just you can see the grain of the wood on the popsicle stick you don't have enough you need to add some more and mine are all pretty good it's a good thing too because i'm almost out of time <laughs> now, the other way is you can go up to the side of the put the stick against the side of the cup and see if you can see it if you can see it before it touches you don't have enough mica powder in there so, I'm going to get my mica powders out of the way. And we're at nine minutes, so we're almost there. We are there. <laughs> 95 degrees. It's almost like exactly where we want it to be. So, do, a, do it how you can do it. Put in a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna spill stuff everywhere like I normally do. There's a couple of these. I just want to have the silver for an experiment for another project. Awesome. Can't get enough red in there. 
and we're almost out of time so we're gonna poke it around with a stick real good it's starting to get thick too <laughs> If these don't dry before I get it done, they're going to be awesome. Okay. Pressure pot time. I don't have time to film that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to show this, but I have another bowl in the small pressure pot that I'm going to dump all these into. Like a flip cup kind of a thing. <laughs> I have the pressure pot sitting on a leveling thing and it fell off. I'll get the phone and I'll give you some uh, shot of how I have that set up. That will change because that never happened. Uh, I went to tighten it up and it fell over. I probably got resin all on the bottom of it. But we're going to keep going. Now liquid diamonds, you just mix it two of these to one of these by volume. Um, and it's pretty easy to tell because this is twice as big as this. So it's pretty easy. You got like 40, at least 45 minutes to work with it. I did a swirling video on this too and it's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's, I mean you're pushing your limit just like I was there. I'm going to start pouring this stuff at 130. The beauty of this is I don't have to move it around or anything. It's just going to stay right where it sits. And then you pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles for a little while with the torch. And that's it. I'm not ready to pour yet. I've only been mixing for like four minutes. We have like 45. But I just wanted to reiterate. If you're not going to use a pressure pot. Whether it's this or silicone or anything. Um, mix it slowly like the other stuff I was mixing. Like vigorously trying to get it, get it mixed. And this stuff... Um, you don't want to introduce air into it. It's going to, it has to work the air bubbles out anyway with your torch and with its slow working time. And you don't want to have to make it work harder by introducing bubbles in there. So that's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to talk about was the longer you leave it in your big container as a, a bigger volume, the warmer it'll get faster. So if you, you know, if you put it in the smaller containers right at the beginning, once you think it's it's uh, mixed, and you put it in smaller containers, then those smaller volumes are going to take longer to get up to temperature. So just a little tip: I always, if when I'm using liquid diamonds, I'll leave it in this one till it gets up about, you know, 90 or 100 degrees, and then I mix. Then I start mixing the colors. And by the time I get all my all mixed, it's it's time to go. Now, you can see the clock here, 55 minutes, uh, 45 to 60 minutes is the working time on this stuff. But if you go by the temperature, it's a little chilly in here, like I don't have the heater on because that's all you're going to hear uh, on the camera. So the table is 63 degrees, 62, and it's going to take a little bit longer. If it was 75 degrees in here, we'd already be done. So right now... That's 90 something, this is 93, 93, they're all about 93 degrees. So I'm going to leave the cameras on and uh, I'll just keep mixing these and keep checking the temperature until it's, until it's go time. It's a waiting game. If we mixed it right now, it's right, they're, they're right about 100 degrees. If we mix them right now, the colors will blend together. It will still look cool, but it's not what we're looking for. So patience and then what, what, what happens every time, doesn't matter if you're doing with the Lumilite or this, right at the end, there's a, there's a mad panic. <laughs> it's kind of the fun part, but it's kind of, I'm not gonna say it's stressful, but it's, uh, you're, definitely, you're definitely running. I like that blue, sky blue from Prolex. That's a pretty, pretty cool color. I'm not even a blue liking kind of guy. I'm more of a green, red, uh, blue. 
It's not my favorite. <laughs> Don't let this stuff get you bored because you're gonna sit there and go, man, it's not, it's like 112, 114 right now, but it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna lull you to sleep and you're gonna be, you know, get your phone or play on your phone while you're doing this stuff and just wait for this to get hot and then next thing you know, it's gonna be too hot. So this stuff will, it's gonna creep up pretty steadily, pretty slowly. And then once it gets up to about where you want it, that's when it starts really catching temperature real fast. So just don't let it, don't let it fool you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this was at 119 right now, and it's warm. It's real warm to the touch, so you're going to have a... Your instinct is going to be... You're, you're going to want to uh, pour this stuff. You're just going to... You kind of be freaking out wanting to get it poured. You're like, I'm going to waste this stuff. Don't chicken out just yet. Just give it a little bit more time. I've done that before. I got about this temperature and I think I have to do it and the colors blend together and I didn't get what I wanted. They start, still will turn out cool, but don't chicken out just yet. Hang in there. I gotta make sure I don't chicken out. <laughs> this was 128. <laughs> Ooh, this is 133. It's almost time to chicken out. <laughs> One last mix and we'll start pouring. This is 133 and this is over 130. And this is like 129. Over 125 is good. I'm gonna press my look a little bit. You, I've went up to 140 before, so, but it's gonna get there quick now. I'll do one last temperature check and then we'll start pouring these things. It's 128. I can wait a minute longer. <laughs> I love it when it swirls. We can wait a minute longer for these things. I'm not waiting any longer. That's 135. They're all pretty much getting up there. <laughs> all right, we gotta leave ourselves some kind of time to pour. So here we go. The overhead shot should be pretty good at this. Blue on this pretty blue. I'm gonna do two of these, I think, in this one. Remember, I don't even like blue. I'm trying to make it to where the camera can see what I'm doing. As much as I don't like this color, it all, it's kind of kind of cool. Ooh. So now, the idea I had was, I think I'm gonna change my mind a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put it all in here. Now this, <laughs> this is just having fun at this point. Look at that. Now, this is either going to be the prettiest thing we ever saw or the ugliest thing we ever saw. And I think we'll know without a doubt. And it's thick right now too.
I really don't mind a, a cup like this because you can put it in a lathe and make uh, make pendants out of it and stuff like that. And I'll give that a swirl. I'll give this a swirl. It ought to be cool. <laughs> it's crazy looking. Pops the bubbles. Hopefully that'll catch that. And I'll just keep on uh, popping some bubbles. And uh, you don't have to do it for very long because this stuff is setting up. So you just get the bu bubbles popped, and they'll come back a few times, and then you're and then you'll be done. And and these ought to be pretty cool. I can't wait to demold these. We'll be here in the morning. I'll come here in the morning, and we'll get the stuff demolded, and uh, we'll see how we did. That could be <laughs> great or disaster. And the one that went in the pressure pot that fell over, that could be okay or bad. But this is, this is what we do. See y'all in the morning. All right, I got lucky with this one because I did knock the pressure pot over a little bit, but nothing spilled out. That tells me it was pretty thick when I got it in there. These two, uh, after I cut into them, we'll be able to figure out if I got them in the pressure pot too late. The liquid diamond stuff is still, it's set up, but I could still, I feel like I could dent it if I really wanted to. So um, I'm working on my patience with that and I'm not going to demold that. I'm going to demold these right now and just get a quick look. And then when it's time to demold that, we'll show that. So I got my overhead camera going and we're going to demold these. fantastic this one is awesome and I'll cut it up I'll come back when the liquid diamonds is ready to demold and then uh, then I'll, I'll trim them up and sand them and make them shiny and then we'll really get to see what we have the colors I like the least are probably be the the prettiest one so there we are, I'll get you a close up and then we will, uh, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and then we'll, we'll talk about them. They look pretty cool so far. The pen blanks are finished. All I did was cut them up on the table saw and took them to the buffer wheels. I didn't sand or anything. Uh, you still see saw marks, but you get the idea. There's a lot of pen blanks to clean up, but I will be doing a pen blank giveaway, like I said, on Instagram. So go there, follow me. What, at least once a week, it'll be, uh, I'll have a post on there. It'll say pin blank giveaway. Follow the directions. Super easy. I just want to get more people involved. And when I give you a pin blank, um, I'll ask for some feedback on it. So um, when I go to do this stuff full time, I'll already have feedback and what people like and don't like. And then I can fix everything before I actually start selling this stuff. And it's fun. So. Let's have some fun. The other thing I need to mention before I show you these, I'm going to show you these at the end, I promise. Um, Alumalite and Liquid Diamonds. I have a coupon code for both below, but I pay for everything I use here. So uh, I paid for this, I paid for this, just so it's out there because some people just assume everything's given to me. I pay for this stuff so I can get these videos out for you so we can all learn together. So that's that. So, with that being said, there's coupon codes below, and uh, I have a list of videos down there that pertain to all of this stuff, pressure pots, all of this. So, it's about time to see this stuff, so we'll see y'all next time, and y'all be good.